Hello everyone, this is Peter Deswood the third again, just giving an update. So I've been having people text message me or call me about what if they don't have a bank account on file with the IRS. Well, I'll connect this uh, link into the notes below. Also put it on there. But you'll go to this link and TurboTax, they've set up their, they partner with the IRS to start collecting information so they can send out the stimulus checks or the economic impact payment. So here's a calculator. Let's say you were, have you filed your 2019 taxes yet? Um, let's say, say no. Let's say I'm single. Let's say I made $55,000. Let's say I have two dependents. So this will calculate how much you get back. So $2,200. Okay, again, under the age of 17. So this is how much they sell and get back. So further down, it says, what do I need to do to get my stimulus check? One, if you haven't filed your taxes yet for this year, you'll go over here for 2018 or 2019. So put your start right here, okay, if you haven't filed. So on the other side, if you don't file, if you don't need to file your tax this year, and what it says right here is if you're not required to file taxes and don't receive Social Security benefits, use our free stimulus registration for non-tax filers to give the IRS your up-to-date mailing address and direct deposit banking info. So some of you, if you don't, if you do not have your bank account information with the IRS, click right here. Um, if you have a Turbo account, TurboTax account, you'll hit yes. If not, hit no, which many haven't filed yet. So once that's done, you'll go in here, you'll put your email address, you'll create a user ID, phone number, password. And then once you hit create, then you'll go to the next couple of screens. And more than likely, they're going to ask for your name, your current address, current mailing address. They'll ask for your social security number, personal information. If you have dependents, they'll probably ask for your dependents and their birth certificates and date of births as well. And then you'll also need social security numbers. I've already said that, but you'll also need your routing number and your bank account number. So make sure you have that information ready when you go into complete this process. Okay. Again, thank you. This is Peter Deswood. Thank you and have a good day.